Hi, it's me with a microphone that you could kind of see because set up. It's finally time to finish this fan film thing I've got going on. So over the past months, I have picked out specific fan films and pointed out specific things to prove that all fan films are relatively similar, but with huge differences. And yes, that does make sense. But today, instead of picking specific fan films and going through it, I've created a list of cliches and problems most fan films have and turned it into a bingo card. I will go through each fan film I have talked about before and when I eventually make another video on fan films, which will happen, I have had requests. Uh, I will also take the bingo card out and write stuff down when I make that video. You know what I mean. If the fan film gets a line, then it is eliminated. If it doesn't, then uh, it doesn't. I don't know, doesn't get a prize, so it's almost like this video is pointless. At the end of the video, we'll see how many fan films have passed and how many have been eliminated. I don't really know what's going to happen because I feel that if I did, it would take the point away from the video. Uh, so this could go terribly, I have no idea. Before we start, let's actually go through the bingo card, shall we? Side companion becomes the master! I've talked about this in earlier videos, mainly the velocity one. Always using the sonic! <laughs> this includes overusing it on everything and just throwing it around constantly, which happens... Uh, constantly. The doctor is a massive ass. Most fan film doctors tend to be asses. honestly. I mainly talk about this in the DDK video. Very uninterested companion. This just happens a lot because the actor playing the companion is usually a friend or sibling that they've dragged into it who doesn't really want to do it but will anyway because they're a good friend. Space start voiceover. Most fan films just start with a voiceover and shots of space. I don't really know why. I assume because the TV movie? Graveyard scenes. <laughs> I know this seems a bit vague, but you'll be surprised how many graveyards are used in fan films. Bench scene. I know this one is also pretty vague, but again, you'll be surprised how many times the same damn shot of a bench is used. And most of the time, in a graveyard. Multi-doctor. Just thought this would be good to add on to it, though it's not... It's not bad or anything. <laughs> Doctor Who fan film cinematic universe. I still don't quite fully understand this universe, but I'm adding it onto the list. <laughs> Stolen content. A lot of fan films use content they very obviously didn't ask permission for. The Doctor murders innocent people. To be honest, I don't know why this happens so much. It just, just does. <laughs> Positivity bubble. This is just because the fan film fans are a little bit too excited for the next episode. I mainly talk about this in the DDK video. Infinity War! I mentioned this in the DW2012 video. A lot of fan films, for the some reason, take the show into this Infinity War-sized battle finale. It's just boring. Doctor Who merch. It's Mark Benton. Oh, how will it focus? Oh, yes. Yeah, Mark Benton. Love him. Every now and again, you find Doc Two merch in the background of fan films. Alternative universe! This isn't a bad thing. Just, just thought it would be nice to add. Different TARDIS, exterior and interior. For some reason, people use different pictures of different TARDIS exteriors. It just just seems rather lazy, to be honest. Well, that's all the points. Uh, let's get through these fan films. Yay. <laughs> So one thing I noticed about Doctor Who Regeneration is it's not actually called Doctor Who Regeneration. I've been getting its name wrong the whole time, <laughs> which is uh, a bit embarrassing. <laughs> it's Doctor Who Regenerated, so yeah, that's great. Generated doesn't sound right. I'm going to call it Regeneration because I'm so not used to saying Regeneration. <laughs> okay. I'm the Doctor. My life isn't easy. Ah, <laughs> so regeneration straight away goes with the space voiceover. Great start. And a graveyard. <laughs> this is going to be easier than I thought. My name's Ooh. Lily. Lily, I like that. Oh, Ooh, an arsy doctor. It's, it's one step closer. 
By the way, he had a multi-doctor mini episode, so that's another point to me. This is a big house. Mm. Do you think she looks interested? Because I don't. Oh wow, that's a lot of faces. I'm I'm sure one of them can exit into the Doc Two fan film cinematic universe, so I'm counting it. And because this is a fan film cinematic universe, it's an alternative universe. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I wrote in the script, woo, <laughs> that did not sound good. Oh dear. You require an upgrade. And you require a downgrade. Doctor, what did you do that for? I'm done with death. And the doctor murders innocent people. Great. Honestly, I shouldn't be surprised how many points it's got already. The regeneration is so much fun because of how unapologetically cliche and mad it is. It will get eliminated in no time. Oh look, that exterior is 100% different to what it's meant to be. And stolen music! At this point, you might think, oh, it'll obviously get eliminated. Uh, well, honestly, I'm, I'm struggling. It's got so many points, but just, it's just not in the right order. <laughs> I feel like I am going mad. In episode 4, the guy who plays the master is the side companion. So I'm just going to count that because because it counts, alright? It counts. So Doctor Regeneration takes 4 episodes to get eliminated. Ish. <laughs> but it has 11 points overall. That is insane. And I, I think it does show that my points are relevant. I'm not just being an ass for the sake of it. <laughs> but like I said earlier, regeneration is so good because of how little it tries to hide its cliches. So maybe other fan films will have a different result. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the first one we could tick off is the doctor being an ass. Who would have known? In this scene, the companion believes the doctor murdered a policeman, but the doctor never corrects him, so I'm just gonna assume that he did actually murder him. The TARDIS model used at the start of episode 2 is different to the one in the title sequence, so that's a point to me. You have a sister? I don't know. Is she single? Aren't you over 4,000 years old? Yeah, you're right, a bit of an age gap. I might not even have a sister! I always forget how much of a bully the Doctor is. Mississippi. 5,599 Mississippi. Do you mind? One Mississippi. He's more like the master. It's really strange how badly written he is. He does definitely have the energy for it though. He's not bad at acting. It's just the writing. Uh, in one scene he has to double check that he didn't murder a random stranger that he found. Hi. I can work with this. Let's just hope that's not Barry's sister. I forget how crazy these are. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure these trippy shots aren't made by them. So I'm just going to tick stolen content. One thing I didn't mention in the DDK video was how the series was never actually completed. They started an audio series instead, which is set before the events of DDK's uh, original series. Meaning, it's a cinematic universe. Yep, boys, we got a bingo! <laughs> Eliminated. <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm not counting episode 4 just because this was written before it was released and I haven't seen it yet because I want to save that for a video. Good, good. First of all, I'm gonna tick off Positivity Bubble. Some would count the regeneration scene as multi-doctor, but I feel that's a bit cheaty. Straight away, the TARDIS exterior is different already off to a good start. So she walks out the TARDIS and immediately uses the sonic screwdriver for no reason whatsoever. The Doctor is quite back chatty, but I wouldn't say she's an ass. If anything, she's just annoying sometimes. I feel it's safe to say that this is an alternate universe, despite my reasons why it isn't really in my Velocity video. I, I don't know, it's confusing. Watch it. <laughs> Of 
course. How did I forget that she blows up an entire city? Great. We never really know where we're going. Next stop, Gallifrey. Carl! Doctor, you are so easy to play. What's the matter? Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Master. Okay, so it does say side companion, but come on, this counts. So we're defenseless. Exactly. It's comforting to know that with each new face, you're the same insufferable ass. Oh, so the, the master's now telling me that she's an ass. Well, if he's saying it, then it must be true. Better safe than sorry, don't argue with the master. I just want to quickly mention about how the quality of this looks can really vary. In this shot, it looks actually amazing. Lighting is great, lovely little shot, can't fault it. But then there's this shot, and it's just, it's just come on, those, those Daleks aren't there. What's went wrong here? Also, can we appreciate how lovely the extermination effect is? Well... This is the first fan film that survives my bingo. This needed either an uninterested companion or a bench scene. Sadly, the actors were very good and no benches were included. Shame, really. <laughs> Do I expect the biggest fan film to hit every cliche? Yes. Yes, I do. So I had to cut five minutes of the video because Luke Newman, DW2012, deleted series one to three of his fan film. Despite his fans literally asking him not to delete it, he, he still went along and deleted them all anyway. Thanks Luke, if you're interested, I got a line pretty damn fast because it's not very good. <laughs> so, ah, oh, it annoys me. Luke, don't delete your old content. Everybody loves seeing how you started out. Even if you don't feel that it represents your work well, then just put it as a, uh, an unlisted playlist. Like, people want to see this. It's quite frankly stupid that you deleted them. Anyway, anyway, uh, I guess now I have to awkwardly cut back to the video. Originally, I did plan to go through other fan films in this video, but it's long enough as it is, honestly. The recording is getting on to 25 minutes, so that's fun. If you would like me to do more, though, just tell me. I've no problem going through more in another video. So only one fan film wasn't eliminated, and that was Doctor Who Velocity. That really doesn't surprise me. Velocity is so good because of how different it is. It, I really hope they focus on that in the future because they could do so much more. Basically, fan films are really fun to watch, but it just make them a little less cliche, please, because the same stuff happens in every damn series. It really isn't that hard to miss this stuff out when writing an episode. Thank you for watching, though. Uh, this is a bit of an odd video, but, you know. I hope you enjoyed my fan film videos. I will be making one more video about a fandom and then i'll be doing some other stuff but i will be back with fan films eventually fan films i love with all my heart they're just so entertaining and creative and it's brilliant to see projects led purely by passion the video i'm making next is about uh, the scariest group of people in the fandom so far nah not really they're just idiotic <laughs> Next video, I'll be talking about the Not My Doctor community, and I've done a lot of research in this one, so it's it's gonna be worth subscribing for. I feel like I've figured out something that nobody actually talks about, so I'm really looking forward to sharing this one. Also, I'm editing and starring in a series that's running on the VRG Games channel. Go check it out. If you enjoy my humour, but you want more improv stuff, then definitely go check that out. It's, it's really great fun to record. I really enjoy making those. Same thing with the podcast I'm doing, because the world doesn't have enough white guy podcasts. It's just a fact. They're really super duper fun <laughs> to record, which is the only reason we're doing it. Links in the description to both of those. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.